Imagine your big dreams, your big goals, like how you want your life to be as the top slice of bread, okay? And then let's imagine the bottom slice of bread being your day-to-day -day reality and what your schedule actually looks like and all the stuff that's got you tied up on any given day. For a lot of people, there seems to be a big gap between those two. It seems like a lot of air between where we want to be and what we want to do and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's called the air sandwich, but that's an illusion. In between that top slice of bread and the bottom slice of bread are five chief obstacles that get in the way all the time. So obstacle one, competing priorities, right? You wanna do that and you wanna do that and you can't do both at the same time. What are you going to do, right? Only two? I like, there are 14 things I wanna do. <laughs> Well, yeah, you're 14, you know, if you're ADHD, that's 14 with like another three that's somewhere hidden around there. So it's like 72, but you don't know whether it's and one or 14. And that's not even accounting for the, the shiny things that just happen to come up and, and take me off my path even. Yeah, and so competing priorities is one. The second thing is head trash. And head trash is a macro sort of um, ver word for like your limiting beliefs, your upper limit problems, the cultural nonsense that we inherit and get socialized into, you know, the stories that we tell ourselves from that sixth grade teacher that said we sucked at math and then we learned and actualized that we suck at math, that's head trash. Then you have the third piece, which is no realistic plan. All three of those words are important. We might wanna unpack them, but I'll just say no realistic plan. The fourth piece is too few resources. You don't have enough time, maybe you don't have enough money, maybe you don't have enough attention, maybe you don't have the right contacts. There's always some obstacle, if you know that reference. And then the fifth one is poor team alignment. And on the personal side, this one confuses people because they think I mean the other side, but I mean the team that's around you, your family, your friends, your community, your coworkers, all of those at a macro level or team. And largely what happens is we haven't either enrolled or told people what we truly want to do. And so the team around us can't help us and actually, unfortunately, pull us in different directions and exacerbate the problem. So those are the five obstacles that really keep us from doing our best work. And usually it's at least one of those in play, but usually it's multiples of those. If you want more insider tips on how to get done and what you can do to break free and actually succeed in a system that's stacked against you. Click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation I have with the one and only Charlie Gilkey.